Arts is Dr. Keith Stewart, director of the Princess Margaret Cancer Center and vice president of cancer at the University Health Network in Toronto. Good morning, doctor. So glad that you're able to join us uh, this morning. Talk to us about the goal of this new screening project and what it will mean for cancer patients. Well, good morning, and thank you for having us on. Now, we're very excited to launch this program. We, we have come to understand that uh, many of our cancer patients are born at increased risk of uh, cancers through their lifetime, through their genetic material, and that we uh, have also discovered that we're probably missing many of those families uh, because of um, the limitations of the current public funding envelope. So we've decided that we'll go out and try and uh, do a better job of addressing this issue, finding more cancers and more people at risk early. And we're going to start with about uh, 20,000 patients a year over the next five years, as you said, to sequence 100,000 of our patients and then a report out on those results. So can you walk us through how this is going to work with a patient who might come in? I mean, is it any type of cancer, doctor? It's any type of cancer. They have to be a patient registered at University Health Network because it works through our electronic uh, health record here. Uh, we will uh, ask the patient, we'll consent them to the advantages and, and potential risks if there are any. Uh, we'll ask them to have an extra tube of blood drawn at the next time they get their labs drawn and uh, we will provide for them free of charge uh, the results of their um, hereditary cancer risk related to uh, the BRCA1 and 2 genes, which you may have heard about, which are common risk factors for breast and ovarian cancer, and for Lynch syndrome, which often results in colon cancer and other diseases. We'll also get the results back over time to use for research, and we'll have 100,000 of these uh, genomes to, to uh, look into in more depth. It's really exciting. So why, uh, why did you want to do this, I guess, is my question. And do you feel like most people will want to participate in this program? Well, we want to do it because we've become more and more focused on finding cancers early so we can intervene early and cure more people. It's become a major strategic focus of our cancer center. And one of the ways we can do that is by identifying people at increased risk. Now, our cancer patients will already have a malignancy. It can, it can somewhat impart the type of treatment we give them. But more importantly, we'll identify not just that individual, but their family members who may be at increased risk. And we can put them into more intense screening programs uh, try and pick up cancers uh, at the very early stages while they're still curable during their lifetime. Is this an expensive study, doctor? Well, we've actually managed to find a very cheap rate for the actual sequencing, which allows us, makes it affordable for us to do. Uh, but over time, of course, it, it will cost quite a bit of money to do 100,000 people. We're very fortunate. We have the Princess Margaret Cancer Foundation and a lot of uh, very generous uh, supporters that can help us uh, self-fund this. And it will, as I already mentioned, it will be free of charge to the to patients and it won't cost the taxpayers anything. Doctor, thanks so much for being with us this morning and explaining this new study and how it will benefit, benefit people in the future. Dr. Keith Stewart is the director of the Princess Margaret Cancer Center.